Life Garden Squad. This is Baby Green Life coming at you live. So today we're going to show you how to set up a kiddie pool system. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with you. Today we're going to be setting up a kiddie pool system and there are a number of videos on on YouTube about kiddie pools but this one has really worked for me. I'm going to go ahead show you what I'm using, get it mixed up, put it in my bags and then we'll go ahead from there. Okay? Okay so when I'm mixing my soil mixture I normally just use a little kiddie pool to mix everything in. Uh, by the way, you could catch these off season for much cheaper than what you can during the summer. I think I probably bought 10 of these last year for a buck a piece, maybe $2. Um, I'm going to be using the Walmart bag that you could use uh, that's reusable for grocery. That's what I'm going to be putting my soil in. It's um, going to be used as a grow bag. Now, if you're a savvy uh, sower, you can make your own. I have did that too and I could show you what they look like as well. Other than that, we have our mix here. Now this peat moss I brought from Lowe's. It is a lot different from the one that, um, well I'm not going to say a lot different. It's organic. It's not the same brand that I was using before. And um, I'm going to try that out this time. I've got my Epsom salt right here. An all purpose fertilizer that goes in in the middle of uh, you filling up your container before completing your fill up. I've got some garden lime to make sure that it's not too acidic of a soil. Perlite for some drainage aeration. And I'm gonna be planting corn. I'm gonna be planting sweet corn. Now I know <laughs> this is not organic, but as far as I'm concerned, there is no organic corn. So um, normally I try to purchase organic seeds or heirloom seeds. Um, the other thing I use is black velvet compost. It's a mushroom compost. And that is what it looks like. Uh, in the kiddie pool systems, we have also pebbles to keep the, the mosquitoes out of the water. So that's what we're going to be using. Give me a moment to get that mixed up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what our soil looks like after it has been well blended together. I'm going to take that soil, put it in one of my grow bags, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like all set up. Okay, everyone, so we are done setting up our kiddie pool system. Stay tuned for part two because we're going to show you how to go in and do a DIY drip irrigation system to keep this thing watered. And it's probably going to cost you nothing. So stay tuned. Make sure you check it out so you can see how to get this corn, the water that it's going to need so that it will grow and feed your family. Bye.